Secretary Hagel, I want to start with you. Last year, I asked uh, Secretary Panetta to begin a DOD-wide uh, review of how the department diagnoses mental health conditions, and he agreed to do that. Uh, the Army recently um, uh, completed their review, and there's some really valuable lessons we got from that, uh, and it really underscored the need to complete the entire DOD-wide review and identify gaps in care and improvements that um, need to be made. Given the number of suicides we've already seen this year and our continued winding down um, from Afghanistan, I think it's really important that this review stay on track and wanted to ask you um, when you expect that review to be completed. Uh, I am uh, well aware of the review. I am absolutely uh, committed, as Senator, Secretary Panetta was, uh, uh, to uh, the review and then uh, addressing it, as he said very uh, clearly when you Look at the latest numbers. We uh, have 350 suicides last year um, and all the other extenuating dynamics that play out. Uh, it is, as uh, Secretary Panetta noted, uh, one of the great, great internal problems that we have. Uh, as to your question, uh, when is it going to be due out? I don't know. Uh, do you know, Bob? Or? We'll get back to you. Okay. I, I don't I, I'd like an answer on that, and I think we have we to will. really make sure we stay on track, make sure we get the diagnosis correct and, and, uh, and respond right. Um, on, on the same line, um, the Army recently uh, released some statistics saying that there have been 109 potential suicides so far this year. That's just in the Army. That is really high compared to last year and continues a, a disturbing trend you just referred to uh, as we're losing more service members today uh, to suicide than we do in combat. We have passed a number of initiatives and pieces of legislation to combat this problem and to provide some additional access to mental health resources. I, I want to ask you, Secretary, what progress has the department made in meeting the legislative requirement to create a joint comprehensive suicide prevention program? Uh, let me ask Bob Hale or uh, General Dempsey, to, 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 because I kind of got in the middle of it, so the progress report, I don't know. Uh, I, I assume we've made progress. I've asked about it. I've gotten briefings on it. I know it's ongoing. I know we're doing it. I know uh, Chief Odierno is focused on it. Uh, General Dempsey, anything else? Yeah, thanks, Senator. I, I don't have the dates, or and I can't give you a progress report from memory. We, we have, uh, um, we meet as a JCS, and then the work, and then, then we get the periodic in-progress reviews. I'd like to take that one for the questioner to give you the proper Okay. If you could get both of those back to me, and, and in your testimony, you actually say that DOD is protecting funding for mental health. Um, can you just quickly say how those funds are going to be used, and are there programs that are going to be expanded under that? I'm going to ask the comptroller to take okay. you down through that. I th we were referring to the fact that we will not sacrifice any of the quality of health care because of sequestration. We will find ways to... Uh, uh, to, to meet all of our key health care needs. And there may be some change, some reductions, say, in RDT&E programs based on sequestration, but that health care for individuals won't be compromised. And the mental health care side? Yes, the same. All the, all the current uh, programs that uh, we have will be funded. And in particular, wounded warriors will be, be our highest priority. I mean, we will do nothing to affect their okay, care. Okay, I appreciate money that. I just want to do I don't want to lose track of the mental health side of this. Um, and uh, my last question is more strategic. Um, over the last 10 years, military installations across our country have grown dramatically to sustain the fight, two wars. Um, I've personally seen in my home state, Joint Base lewis McCord grow by 64 percent since 2006 to meet the demand. Um, now, as the military shifts its focus to Asia-Pacific region, the DOD is going to re increasingly rely on the installations in our western states, and I wanted to ask you today to discuss how DOD is taking advantage of the investments that we've now made over the last 12 years and the strategic value of our installations in the western states, uh, like Joint Base lewis McCord and the Fairchild Air Force Base in Washington State, to facilitate your long-term strategic decisions? I'll uh, make uh, a general comment in response to your question that General Dempsey uh, or uh, the Comptroller would like to add anything. Uh, obviously, as you have stated, uh, those assets that uh, we have, especially in the western part of the United States, uh, become, uh, they've always been important, but become more central to that, uh, that shift 
of our priorities based on threats and interests and our, and our, and our, and our um, ability to defend those interests in the Pacific, Asia Pacific. So uh, I don't think there's any question that that's going to continue. And that means uh, infrastructure, that means uh, all that goes with it. Now that doesn't mean that uh, there, not, uh, there will not be any adjustments or considerations of consolidations until we get down into some of these things as to the implementation of the defense strategic guidance and in particular the Asia Pacific rebalancing. But um, my general assessment of it uh, is that they, they will remain critically important to that strategic shift. John Dempsey. The only thing I'd add, Senator, is that um, I, I align myself with the Secretary's general impression that our rebalancing the Pacific will certainly advantage that part of our infrastructure that tends to exist on the West Coast. But it's worth mentioning that um, the Army, for example, has not yet announced how it will go from its current strength, which is roughly 500 and just over 550,000, down to 490,000, based on the f the last budget cut, the 487 billion. There's going to have to be some number of brigades cut, and the Army has not announced nor shared with the Secretary yet which of those, where where those reductions will come from. On top of that, then, we've got to account for sequestration. And it will affect every – I predict it will affect every installation in the continental United States and most of those overseas. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to all of you.